What's going on guys? It's Nicole Charnel here. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can see from the title, today is a fitness update. Another fitness update. But I didn't do it last week or the week before I think. So we're getting back into it <laughs> this week. It is the, today's the 21st. So it's the last full week of February. I've been on a consistent fitness journey since September of 2021. So that's September, October, November, December, January, February. It's about to be six months and I am feeling so good. I'm feeling so good just about fitness in general. But first, once again, my name is Nicole Charnel. If you're new here, I do videos on healthy, intentional living and that's just living your healthy life with intention. Being on a fitness journey is just, it's super interesting and um, trying to figure it out yourself. Like some people, some people get fitness trainers or nutritionists or dietitians to kind of like help them through. I'm kind of doing like a DIY version just because for one, that's just the type of person I am. If I'm ever doing something or wanting to create something or start something, I'm always looking for how to do it myself. And that also has to do with like me being a frugal person and being conscious of my money and like where my money is going and stuff like that. And I'm trying to get better with that, especially in 2022. So I knew that I have to, uh, I have to do my own research. I have to look into things myself. I have to take uh, time to do it myself for me. And um, obviously it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be something I can present to the public as, hey, this is who I am and I'm a fitness trainer and I can give you these tips, but I feel like I can give you ways on how you can do it yourself for sure. So um, what I've mainly been focusing on lately is my nutrition. Uh, I've really gotten into a really good routine with my working out, my exercise and all that. I've created a workout plan for myself based off of once again doing research, looking at other fitness trainers and what they're doing and how they're doing it. So did that and that's going really well and now I'm creating a nutrition plan. Now if you don't know or if you're like if you're new here, I am a pastry chef so I have been to culinary school um, and even in pastry you go through the preliminary parts of learning about food and how it affects your body and how you can break it down and how you cre can create meals and all that. It's obviously not as in depth as becoming a dietitian or a nutritionalist but it you kind of get like that preliminary part of it so that has really helped me as well kind of like construct my own meal plan and figure out the foods that I want to eat and incorporate and stuff like that so with my meal plan it's right now is all about high protein all about high protein I'm trying to hit 140 to 160 grams of protein every day and now uh, before I was like just focusing on hitting that protein and I was blowing my calories out the water every day uh, but now I'm looking at my calories as well and I, now I'm like significantly under my, cal my calories every day. I kind of went through the process. If you don't know, like if you go through the process of, I forget what it's called exactly, but it's basically figuring out like your caloric intake and usage for your body, how your body uses it. And it kind of gives you an estimate. Um, it, it's like a little form online. If I find the link, I'll put it in the description box below. But like you fill it out and it tells you like how many calories you should be burning every day. And then it tells you uh, if you want to lose weight if you want to gain weight um, and if or if you want to maintain uh, for how many calories you should be eating right this watch um, it's called a halo a halo halo view I think it's by Amazon but it's like a fitness tracker and it also tracks like how many calories I use per day so I started looking at that and I was using actually about 2,000 to 2,200 calories every single day so that was including me exercising in the morning going to work for an eight hour day and all that so but it, it kind of excludes these days like today is a day where I have off so I'm doing a lot of sitting in front of the camera and not really walking around a lot so those days are on the lower end of like 1,700 calories which is still a decent amount of calories so after looking at that I found out that I'm like not even hitting my calories <laughs> throughout the day even if I hit my protein I'm super close to hitting my calories but I'm, I don't hit that I don't hit it exactly every single day so um finding that out so like just I took the time to really just like research myself and like research my body and like look at what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and if it's helping me or if it's not helping me that was like really super interesting because at first I, I just like kind of googled like well how many calories should I be eating if I'm trying to lose weight and of course you get that general 1200 calories when 1200 calories it which I found out is like your base number like that is the lowest that you should ever be going as an adult so then I you know started doing more research and you tracking my own fitness and movement and all that really gave me like the exact number which I said is between 2000 to 200 to, to 2200 calories a day 
day. So that's really hard for me to hit every single day, but I am trying. Um, but once again, I'm mainly focusing on my protein and I'm focusing on my protein so I can gain muscle as well as lose fat. So that that part of, of losing fat and gaining muscle is um, something that's just really interesting and that I'm, I'm like trying to really learn about and get more information about and researching uh, because that's how you recomposition your body that's how you do lose that fat and get super lean is from eating high protein and um, being on a high protein diet and like still watching your macros and all that if you've ever like researched being in fitness and trying to lose weight macros comes up you know quite often but then i think it's more of a focus on your calories than it is your macros but then as you get more in depth into researching your fitness and losing weight you find that macros are like top tier important and it's always been the fact that like nutrition is number one like we should be focusing on nutrition all the time you know even if we're not working out we should be focusing on nutrition because even without working out you can still lose weight if you're focusing on you on your nutrition you know what i'm saying so that's just really interesting that's what i've been like thinking about and kind of just uh, dissecting this week and like trying to work into my own schedule and all of that so um yeah, and it's going pretty well. Um, something else that I've implemented this week is weighing myself daily. I talked about in one of the, these other fitness update videos is how I thought maybe like me weighing myself was like just too much pressure for me and I thought maybe it was getting to a point of being obsessive and I was only doing it once a week. And when I started using this app, it's called the Lose It app, um, it gives you like daily tasks. So in the daily tasks of course involve you logging your breakfast, lunch, and your dinner, um, logging something else, oh like closing out your day of eating and then tracking your weight and I was like okay well should I be weighing myself every day and looking into it more like your weight fluctuates a lot depending on what you're doing or if you're drinking water if you're not drinking water and all that so tracking everything is really important if you are trying to focus on yourself and like your body and how it's changing you kind of have to track everything um so I was like okay let's do this let's try weighing myself every day let's see how it goes so it's i'm what like five days in and weighing myself every day and it's really not that bad um and i think it's really not that bad though because my weight is going down <laughs> so if my weight was going up i probably would have a problem with it but uh so far it's going down and it's going down in really small increments like 0.3 pounds 0.5 pounds uh so it's not going down super fast which that's good as well um but it is still going down which makes me really happy and like seeing my bmi go down really just tracking everything really just tracking everything focusing on my water intake which something i just have to keep coming back to i just have to keep coming back to focusing on it like i need to get my water in i need to get my water in, i need to get my water in um and the more i get my water in the scale keeps going down but it just keeps going down it just keeps going down and I freaking love it. I love it. Love every second of it. So drink more water. Drink more water, boo. But I'm doing pretty good. I went on a like little mini vacation at the beginning of February. And that like bumped me up five pounds. I gained five pounds in like four days. That was awful. Um, and I felt really terrible. <laughs> like once I weighed myself, like I had a great time. I ate really good. Loved every second of it. But I didn't exercise. And I wasn't focusing on my water. I feel like if I was still exercising and focusing on my water while I was away, weight gain would not have been bad at all. Um, but it still was good. It was a good experience to, to kind of go through gaining those five pounds. <laughs> so now that now was like the first weekend of February. So it was like the, the fourth. So today is the 21st and I'm back down those five pounds and like a little bit more. It's like 5.3 pounds that I'm down. So it wasn't bad. It didn't take it, but it like, like it's crazy. I gained those five pounds in like four days and it took me three weeks, two and a half weeks to get back down five. Like how bro? How I am going to go away again in like a month or so and I'm going to try and focus on those two things even still while eating whatever I want to eat and having a good time but I'm going to still get my movement in and still do my water and see if my body reacts differently um but I know already that my body like loves movement it loves exercising it really loves like 
getting it in. Just, I, I really enjoy this wedding. I really enjoy it and it's crazy. Never really thought that I would be that person that I would enjoy that, but I do. So I have what I eat in a days. Uh, I try to do them every week. I really enjoy filming them because like I said, fitness is really, I mean, uh, nutrition has really became a huge part of my fitness journey, which it should be. Filming my what, what I eat in a days, at least once a week, um, kind of keep me, keep me on track, keep me going with my pro high protein goals and all that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you uh, liked it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of me uh, and if you want to hear more about my fitness journey and all that also follow me on Instagram I do post daily all my stories and, and kind of show you a more like daily version of what I'm doing what I'm going through but um, other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in my next fitness update bye